Good morning everyone. Today we are going to be continuing from where we left off with the Black Sun's Poison, as well as the Coruscant Planetary Storyline and the Heroic Missions. Before we get underway though, today's video is sponsored through my partnership with W Energy. If you're looking for a clean energy drink that doesn't give you the jitters and crashes of normal energy drinks, then W Energy is the energy drink for you. And if you use my discount code JOSHUA265, you'll get 10% off your order. And there is a trial pack for those who want to try the um, product. So if you want to use my discount code, feel free. Without further ado, let's get underway. Sun's illegal clinic. I probably would have survived. Oh. 
for the illegal surgery droids. surgery droids. Closing that clinic's a big win for Republic security and for the people of Coruscant. I certainly hope so.
problem with having so many people on the same mission.
chest we need. And we'll return to the Senator after we finish everything else we have to do here. No. It's good to see another brave soul, soldier. Come on over. I'm Captain Theraguin. Last officer on the job here since the patrol stopped. Welcome to Black Sun Territory. Are you saying there's no security down here? Are you kidding me? My commander gave up on the sector a long time ago. I shouldn't even be here. The locals only venture out of their apartments when they have to scrounge for supplies. Now with no security forces, what future do they have? And Black Sun has a new game. Call it Boom. This doesn't sound good. Black Sun steals Republic supply crates, takes the supplies out, then rigs the crates with explosives. Then they set the trap crates in the street, make bets on how long before some fool tries to open them. Only cowards attack civilian targets. Mm. Yeah, it's one thing when the gangs shoot at us, but killing innocents for fun? I try to defuse the crates myself. The mechanics are simple, but Black Sun's everywhere. Nearly killed me last time. I can handle Black Sun. I want to make things right. That's... Thank you. That's just what I needed to hear. Now, Black Sun's explosives are pretty simple. I can show you what to do. Anything you can do, I'll be more than grateful. But be damn careful. Mm, he's never really careful, but we'll get it done. Right now we're fixing the water supply, which is part of the planetary storyline. defeating Black Sun forces, but 
That guy's pretty much killed them all, so unless they come back relatively soon before we complete the objective, we'll miss that one. What are you doing? Get away from that! Back off! This is our hydro supply, and we like it broken. Now get lost! What are you kids doing here? We live here. Who do you think you are, stomping in here like this? We need this water. We don't have any money, and there's nowhere else in the district to get water for free. We'll die if it gets shut off. What happened to your parents? They died in the war, alright? We're on our own now. Just leave us alone! This is the only place we've got, and the only way for us to get by. If I gave you some credits, would you be able to find a new place to go? Yeah. Let me start. It'll take a lot, though. Are you gonna give us enough? This should take care of you and your friends. Whoa! I've never even seen that many credits before. We can trade for a long time with these. Thanks! Compromise, that's what it's all about, kid. Oh, we actually can still get the bonus as long as we don't report back, so let's see if there's enough for us to kill. Sergeant Jack, so about those chemicals.
Wow, you're the new Havoc CEO. Must be my lucky day. I'm Jaxo. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Working with a beautiful woman on a dangerous mission? I'd say it's my lucky day. You want to focus, sir? We've got a job to do here, remember? Nothing says your boss can't have a little fun, Sergeant. Let's get those op details out of the way. Your highly enviable task is to destroy a cache of nerve gas canisters that the Black Sun Syndicate is shipping to Tavis. The gas is called Travors. Scary stuff. One canister can cover a square kilometer with 100% fatality inside of 10 minutes. Do we have any way to safely deal with this stuff? Lucky for us, it's pretty easy to neutralize Travoris, at least while it's still in the canisters. The compound in this bottle renders Travoris completely inert on contact. Just plug it into the canisters inside the Black Sun base, and the whole batch is history. That sounds easy enough. Uh, yeah, but you'll have to shoot your way past Black Sun's toughest enforcers to do it. You also have another objective. A few hours ago, a bright red case was moved into the Black Sun's base under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. So your job will be to find the case and bring me its contents. I just can't say no to you, Jaxo. Well, I'll have to keep that in mind. One last detail. Black Sun has signal jammers throughout their base, so General Garza won't know to send help if you get in over your head. I'll be sure to stay alert, Sergeant. Just be sure that handsome face of yours makes it back in one piece. Once you've taken care of the Travoris canisters and nabbed whatever's inside that red case, be sure to meet me back here to confirm the mission results. Good luck, Lieutenant.
guys here, and obviously on the same mission I figured it was better to prioritize getting the, um, <clears throat> crates. Somebody else must have been through here recently because I can't imagine there wouldn't be guards. There's our red case. Explains it right there.
Hey, you're back. Was the op a success? Were you able to neutralize the Travoris? Mission complete. I wouldn't expect anything less from a man like you. How about that red case? Were you able to grab whatever was inside? Here you go. A big, dangerous present from the Black Sun. Oh, you shouldn't have. Looks like some kind of high-tech prototype blaster. You definitely know how to shop for a lady. I'll take it back to headquarters for analysis. Maybe we can find out where Black Sun is getting their weapons. Looks like we're all done here. It's been a blast, Lieutenant. I hope we get to work together again sometime. I'll be sure to put your name forward the next time I need backup. Sounds good to me. See you later. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. A situation has developed with the Senate, and I need your help. What can I do to help, sir? Despite my best efforts, three members of the Senate Defense Committee have learned about Havoc Squad's defection, and they want to know the specifics. It's an informal inquiry for the time being, but you can bet it won't end there. I hate politics. The Senate represents the people. It's our duty to aid them. That's all well and good, Lieutenant. But every moment we waste on questions is a moment Tavis and his traitors have to prepare for us. The Senators have asked that you appear in their office at the Senate Tower immediately to testify in the inquiry. I am barred from influencing your testimony, but I will remind you that the more information that becomes public, the harder our job becomes. It's my duty to provide accurate information to the Senate. And I would certainly never advise you against keeping the Senate fully informed of our activities, Lieutenant. The Senators are already waiting for you. Hurry back to the Senate Tower and try to get this over with quickly. Garza out. As if we didn't have enough problems already. And we reached level 10 with Jordan. Thank goodness, because I want to replace him as soon as possible. Now we just need to go and turn in the quests that are along the way through here, and then we'll warp to the Senate Tower. Haven't heard an explosion in a good while. Guess that means you defuse those crates. I think I found them all. Let's hope Black Sun doesn't get any more. We'll make sure. No more people will be killed looking for food. Now, I'm no rich senator, but let me give you a little something for taking care of this. Recognition. I don't expect a reward for doing my duty. Rare to find someone not out to make a profit. You probably have other business, so I won't keep you. Watch your back out there. Senate Tower we go for our informal inquiry. All Coruscant systems indicate clean life waters flow upward. You flawlessly applied my crafted solution to the hydro supply at the Black Sun level below. Adulation! Happy to be of assistance. You are unmarred by Black Sun green perpendiculars. I am gratified by this. Clean life waters flow and nurture upper levels. The Coruscant sufferer beings achieve benefits on the Enclave's Gri ingenuity. My Black Sphere evolves to a purple parallel because of you. When I impart this development, Padake will progress enthusiasm with the Senator. I'm glad life on Coruscant will be better now. The City Planet's infrastructure expresses elementary designs. Additional upgrading is sternly recommended. 
I pledged you a piece of Gree ingenuity. This solution was crafted specifically for your being. My acknowledgement and appreciations. I continue upgrading cores and systems and ensure the clean life waters flow upward. Accept my unyielding gratefulness. This droid's giving me a headache. Anything I can do for you? Operator units always inherit fouled labors. I administrate as well as Patake, but I am marooned to waste processing. What have I done to incur white acute? Can't always pull the easy ops. Sometimes you have to get your hands dirty. Please restrict unneeded slang terms. Comprehending your sonics is white perpendicular enough as it is. Patake commanded me. Optimize Coruscant's waste processing system. Preserve your organs from filth, disease, poisons. But Ugnot porcine bipeds plunder Gree ingenuity from waste processors. With Gree optimization solutions stolen, filth, disease, poisons spread uncontrolled, plagues imminent. The guns aren't much good for stopping plagues. Weapons enhance Black Bisector's success. Plague state is averted when you repossess the Gree Optimization Solution. The Ugnot porcine bipeds plundered Gree Optimization Solution unaware of internal transmitters. I detect the plundered device's coordinates. Patake authorizes compensation of Republic credits to the Black Bisector who repossesses the Optimization Solution. I'll see what I can do. That is the expected response, Black Bisector. Why exhaust respiratory functions on it? I'd like to blow you up. I hope you realize that. Maybe it's your personality, and that's why you're delegated to waste management. I brought what you asked. Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. I'm at your service, Senators. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? That's right, Senator. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Senator. My squad defected right in front of me. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? 
Yes, they were all pretty off balance. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantel should have seen this situation coming? I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, sir. Commander Tavis and the others must have been quite subtle indeed. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on... Okay, let's try this again. Telling the truth to get the light side points works, but other than that, I should deflect a little bit. Lieutenant, make... I'm at your... I... No. That's right, Senator. While, sir... Uh, yes. No. I don't believe there were any such signs, Senator. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantel should have seen this situation coming? I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, sir. Commander Tavis and the others must have been quite subtle indeed. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect to... Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. As you wish, Senator. Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Glad to be of service. And whatever you hope to achieve with your Senate testimony, you certainly didn't make my job any easier. It's my duty to tell the Senate the full truth. Our top operators have defected to the Empire. That should be a much larger concern to you than playing it safe with a pack of bureaucrats. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Carden tied with the defection, General? Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. This guy's involved. I know it. If possible, I'd like you to capture Cardin alive. If he is involved in the defection, he could provide us with invaluable intelligence. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicars Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. These vigilantes must be pros to control that much territory. They're very popular on the lower levels, keeping the peace where the Republic won't. But make no mistake, the Justicars are no friends to the Republic. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicar's main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. 
Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Carden back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Argue with me every five seconds, but then count on me for everything. Hmm. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Excuse me, you don't look like a Justicar, I hope. The Justicars say they're protecting us from the Black Sun, that they're better than the gangs, but they're not. I hate them. You're, you're really not one, right? I don't want to get in trouble like Brayden did. Who's Brayden? Are you asking for my help? Please, can you help me rescue Brayden? He's my brother. He's only 15, but they think he's older. They say they indentured him because he broke one of their stupid curfew laws. So they lock him up all day and make him shoot the Black Sun all night. He's going to die! Don't worry. I'll get your brother back. Pop always told us to trust soldiers, but I wasn't sure. After the Justicars. Thank you. Here, to get I'm to Brayden, you'll need some special belt they all wear. It's the only way to get past the security field where Brayden is. Please, please Once again, bring another back example of how cor corruption runs rampant on Coruscant. Even the security forces are only out for themselves.
Finally, military assistance. I'm Fez Burba, scientist notary of the Republic and planetary consult to the Galactic Senate. My current project could alter history. If my theory proves correct, I will be the most famous scientist who ever lived. Consider this. We all know the Imperial bombardment of Coruscant wreaked havoc on the infrastructure. But what if it also damaged the planet's very core? Would there be a way to repair the damage? Perhaps, depending on the extent of it. But most likely the planet would have to be evacuated. Of it is it crucial that I get seismic readings from the lower levels, specifically from the works sector. In the spirit of scientific inquiry, and on behalf of the safety of the Republic, I need you to perform this critical mission. Prove my theory correct, and the Senate will grant me a substantial endowment for further research. I will give you a generous reward as compensation. If your theory is incorrect, what happens then? I will still pay, of course, but your compensation will be significantly less. All that's required is that you take the Berber Seismic Activity Reader, my invention of course, and use it in the works. The reader is both accurate and user-friendly. The challenge will be in the journey, not in the science. Hail to the glory of the apparatus. Welcome to the hallowed walkways of the great works. I am Osiris, the chief engineer. I serve the great machines, the true rulers of Coruscant. It's a pleasure to meet you, Osiris. It's always good to see another humble biological down here. These machines are the vital organs of the planet. Biologicals are merely parasites, totally dependent on the infinite energy of the great one. But discord emerges among the exalted masters. The stationaries grant sustenance to the biologicals, but the mobiles long to destroy our kind. What are stationaries and mobiles? The stationaries are industrial behemoths, creators. The mobiles, some call them droids, are workers. Understand this. One of the stationaries, Thermodraft, is in great pain. He's melting down. But the mobiles will not let me help him. When he dies, thousands of biologicals above will die with him. His energy will be unleashed. Are you talking about some sort of explosion? Radiation leak? Both. Thermodraft dies an angry death. You are only a mere biological. But perhaps you could help save Thermodraft. You'd have to release the control valves on his steel skeleton. Do this and matters could be set right. Let's call this Operation Machine Rescue. That seems fitting. Thermodraft lives farther down into the works. You'll see him. He is astounding to behold. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually have to come down to the works later for a request, so... Fine. I'll may as well it. stay in Justicar territory and take care of that first. Better watch your weapons, Lieutenant. Everyone's desperate for them in Justicar territory. Agent Reed Gandon, Strategic Information Service. Naturally. Notice anything odd down here? Like how quickly the Justicars took control? Weapons and armor don't just materialize out of thin air. The Justicars have a supplier, and it isn't the Republic. You follow? 
Where else can the Justicars get what they need? If not legally from the Republic, there's a few options. The Exchange, Separatists, even the Empire. Whoever's got the weapons runs the show. The SIS needs to know where those supplies are coming from. The Justicars control their own shipping dock, and I'm sure they keep records. I just need someone who can handle an ambush to get them. Sounds like you could use a soldier. Get those records to me as soon as you find them. You don't want to get waylaid by the Justicars. So many people, so much.
Alright, now we just have to leave the shop. Senate if I have to, and Gonthor Industries will be back up in no time.
just have to turn in that information to the ISS, SIS agent after we finish our other stuff. Great, other times it's an annoyance. Operate and you won't be harmed. Where's the greed device? <laughs> Are the people on this level in some kind of danger? Coruscant? Why wouldn't the Senate help with repairs? <laughs> Regardless of your reasons, you stole Republic property. Tell the Gree representatives about your situation. the Justicar security belt that we needed.
city if the just cars weren't around. Well, unfortunately they are. Right, then how am I supposed to okay, so it's down and around. Your sister sent me. You're free. Granny? Oh, but she's... she's a little girl. How could she... And why? I... Oh, now they're gonna kill me. Quick, can you put that back? Um, get it working again or something? You want to be the Justicar's captive? I can't escape. As long as the Justicars have me in their records as a curfew breaker, they'll just hunt me down again. And if they get me for going AWOL, they'll use torture. Unless... Look, if you really want to help, go into their computers and delete my file. I'll hide somewhere. When things die down, I'll find Rennie again. A lot of work just for one kid. Founder of Havoc Squad. And then we'll turn in our missions and that'll be where we'll conclude for the day.
You listen to me, Carden. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruders! Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. I don't think so. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. It's over, Carden. You, the imps, Tavis, you're all going down. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... A Havoc badge? Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. Surrender. And this will all go much easier for you. You are persistent, soldier. I'll give you that. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cotton? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis, not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You won't escape me for long, Cardin. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! You're done. Come in, Lieutenant. Is it my imagination, or were those Imperial soldiers you just fought? No mistake, sir. These were Imperial commandos. Imperial soldiers in uniform operating on the lower levels of Coruscant, and Republic security knows nothing about it? Incredible. We need to learn more about this link between the Justicars and the Empire. If they're hosting our enemies, they might have some useful information for us. I'll see what I can find down here, sir. Where should I start looking? Surveillance shows that the Justicars have their primary computer terminal in that base. Find the necessary access card and activate that computer terminal. My technicians can then slice in and uncover everything the Justicars and Imperials have been up to. I'll take care of this immediately. Good. Garza out.
Good work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records. Ah, Card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Just tell me who and where. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay, down in an industrial area called the Works. Apparently, Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. And taking the traitors down will be a lot easier if they're isolated. I'm sending Sergeant Matham to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. I'll meet up with Sergeant Mathen ASAP. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that con relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant. But try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. I'll give it my best shot, General. Please do, Lieutenant. Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Sounds like a plan, General. Cardin could help us convince everyone to surrender peaceably. Make him see that. Otherwise, we're only going to kill them all. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives regardless of what happens with Cardin. Good luck. Garza out. Alright, we'll go ahead and warp to the Senate Tower to turn in the planetary mission. And then everything else we need to turn in is on the way to the works. So, And we'll stop once we get to the works for the day. Council may be down in the works then. Shipping records from the Justicar docks. This should be everything you need. Couldn't have done it better myself. These records prove that Justicars are getting supplies from off-world. I'll transmit these to headquarters, let them chew on it a while. You've got my thanks. brother is free. He says he will find you as soon as it's safe. R really The Jessicars were saying he'd been killed. But he's alive? Really? Thank you, thank you! You're my second best friend in the whole world! Twelve for Jorgen.
left to do for now. Internal transmitters reveal you convey the optimization solution to me. I also scan a crude Ugnot porcine biped proposal of collaboration. Curious. I think you'll find that data pad worth reading. The Ugnot porcine bipeds submit esteem for my efforts and honor my faculties. This is unforeseen pleasantness. With this optimization solution repossessed, Coruscant's waste processors revive. Filth disease poison levels recede. Plague outbreaks averted. All resolves to purple parallel. Yahoo. The black bisector comes, pleasing as it is needed. I am NIK, science unit. Please talk up if your comprehension white shifts. I will use simple, happy language words to help you understand. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate anything you can do. Indubitably. Coruscant power comes from the works. Darkness comes from the works. Chorus and senators, traitors are blind. The power darkness must stop. You're talking about blackouts. Yes. Perhaps we understand. The works is very low on Coruscant. There, grease spawning generators breed electrons for machine consumption. But enemy droid machines intersect the power conduits and yellow shift their functionality. Enemy droid machines must stop, and conduits must be fixed. Why are the enemy droid machines disrupting the power conduits? All droids in the works were damaged when the Empire attacked. Now they are corrupt. I monitor the power conduits and know where to implement purple shifting. As Black Bisector, you can take out many, many droid machines. With information planted inside you and our tool sphere repair mother in your many fingers, you can perform the fixing function. Is it efficacious? Sounds efficacious to me. Excellent. Red tangents envelop us. You will do well, Black Bisector. I'm so glad that we're almost done with that. Alright, once we get the briefing, that's where we're gonna stop for the day. Hey there, LT. Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with fun toys in tow, sir. Let's see what you got for me. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R high-yield thermite explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. That'll be perfect. Now the comm relay you're going after is in The Works, an industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials, you're bound to find. The rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. Thanks for the warning, Sergeant. Just doing my job, LT. Once you've made your way to the relay, plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck. Alright, that is where we are going to stop for the day. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And one last time, my discount card, my discount code for W Energy, the partnership that I have, is Joshua265, and it will get you 10% off, and there is a starter set for you to try. So feel free to give them a checkout. I'll see y'all in the next one.